Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are starting the module 02. In the first module we just covered the basics like how to write the TypeScript Express app and uh, we did the MySQL integration with TypeORM. We created a few uh, tables like uh, user, post, comments, category, all these and we also define the relationship like one to many, many to many, many to one. Now in this video we will go ahead and we will start creating the other controllers and services. So we will write the post controller, comment controller, user controller and auth controller. So we in last video we were writing the user controller and we don't have a service yet. We were writing a lot of things in the user controller itself like uh, uh, find by id right. Here we are listing all the users and we are also populating the post and comments for those users. In this method we are getting one single user and the post and comment for that user and in this video we are creating a new user so first we are uh, passing the username password validating it if there is no error from the class validator then we are getting the repository and we are saving that user this is how we create a user in updating a user we got the new username then first we are calling find one and fail on the user repository if we already have if we got a username based on that id means we are going to update that user in that we are passing the new username in this case username is uh, unique so first we are validating okay the new username is valid based on the class validator criteria if there are no errors then we will do user repository dot save maybe we need to capture a particular error from the mysql okay like the duplicate record or something okay that is not covered here we are just throwing 409 from here okay now similarly what we will do we will create a auth controller and what auth controller will do is it will be able to provide some methods like user login, reset password, change password. Okay, so the auth controller will have a login, minimum login and register criteria. Class auth controller. Okay, here we have the first method which is a public static maybe a login method and it is async okay here we are passing request of type request coming from express and next function request response should come from express Okay, now this is our function we have. So public static login, why it is complaining too much. We can also export the class from here. Oops, what is this? I don't know, some dummy text has been added. Now this is our function name, right request and response we are getting from here, oh sorry I created .js file and I was wondering why so many errors coming. Okay so this function we have and in this function what we are going to get we will be accessing the payload body. Now const username and password because we will be getting both these attributes from request body now you can run some validations okay you are passing username password or not if one of any one of them is missing then you will be just sending the response dot status 400 that something bad request or something that you can do using some uh, joey validator or using class validator okay here we will just directly get the user repository user repo equal to get repository now we are getting get repository from type rm and we have to import user entity we already have so we get user and user repository now let's say we got we will get a user of type this user local variable 
and we will make a DV operation so we'll just wrap it around check by catch okay now what we will do is we will make a simple simple query okay we are getting a, we will be getting user from it await user repo dot create query builder and what we are selecting we are selecting the user on this we are adding dot add select we are selecting user dot password so we are actually extracting only a single argument and here we will add a where condition so instead of writing query we will be writing this method user dot username user dot username equals and here we are passing the username which we got from request payload and what we need to do we just will be getting only one not many because there will be only one user having this username so we got this user now how we are going to use this user uh, we got the user which will have only the password field and one password which we are passing so we got the password field for this user for this username now what we'll do is we'll just compare this password which we got from this query and the password which you are passing okay in the next uh, if you're not able to find this user what you will do is response dot send response dot status we can use the response templates for it 401 user is not authorized and user doesn't exist here you can pass the argument like response uh, status is for uh, i mean status is false and message is user is not authorized invalid username passed message is like this okay this is one thing now we got the user user object what we can do is we can call some method so here we will just validate if this password is provided by this user is valid or not so we can call one method user dot check if encrypted password is valid and the password which you are passing if this holds true it means if this doesn't hold true means the password is not equal then again you can do response dot status 401 and uh, response dot send dot json in the json you can just send a message okay here this is the same user which we got from here oh it is complaining still before already assigned so we got the user property here and we are using the same user object here that should be fine okay now if this is fine we are able to come till this point now what we just need to do jwt dot sign we have to import jwt from json web token Okay, JWT dot sign this method we are using to create a token and here we will be passing our payload and the secret key first let me check okay, we don't have a JSON web token first let me install it so once user is logged in what we will do is we will be sending a token to that user so that for the next request we will be checking that token is coming in the request header or not and the request header we will create a middleware to check if user is valid okay now if i just copy paste it it will work after some time i think because the page indexing is happening now jwt dot sign here we need to pass the payload and expires in property So here we have a user object user is used before it is being assigned that is just a warning because here we are just assigning the user object okay we will get a user object from here and we are accessing that same user property here user dot username and config dot jwt secret right so we have to import the config also and we should have a config here That should be in the constant interface. Somewhere we need to define this constant. And what we can do is 
we can have our GWT secret somewhere which can be config secret inside the environment we can define this config.sec secret it can be any random text which you wanted to have okay now from the config object we can access the secret key and based on the environment we will be populating these configs so there are multiple ways either you can just have a dot env we might be having and in this we have here we can just provide this secret key and we can access it using process.env.secret that is I think easier way of accessing it so this is the second argument process.env.secret and third argument is the expiry duration which is 1 hour now we got the token what we can do is response dot status 200 and dot json here we got the token right it's just only one method but we have written a lot of code right so this is the auth controller login and similarly what we can do we can write a register method which will be just like uh, it will be taking the username and password I think we have written that in the user controller that is about new user so what we are doing here I mean we have to shift it to the auth controller this is our first method now second method can be public static add user okay and here we are validating it so I will be importing validator from class okay this is how we are getting the user repository dot save this is the user object having username and password okay and if you just see this entity user entity module entities and we have the user entity so here we already have this method in the user entity which is check hash password so before saving this particular password value it will hash the password okay and uh, this is another method check if so this is once we have encrypted password we can just pa compare that password with actual password we are using bcrypt for this so it will give us the required output okay so this is the auth controller first method and the second method add user which is same as register and here we have a login login and register are done so this is our auth controller and now what we are doing is from the login we are sending the token back to the user now the user will be coming back and will be requesting some user data uh, profile data so what we will be checking is we will be using a particular middleware in our routes so here we have our routes user we will be creating one particular middleware and we will be passing here middleware can be validate user okay authorize so that will be just check, checking the token token expiry and all these things and we will be setting the user payload object in the request so that throughout the application we can just check who, who is the correct current logged in user okay uh, let's see next in the next video